Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Ruck Roll. Alright, today we're going to do something a little different, at least a little different for me. If you've watched other vloggers, you've probably seen a hundred of these, but I've never done one. Today we're going to go do a filming location. This all kind of started uh, a couple days ago. I, I kind of thought I wanted to do a filming location and started to look and see if there was anything in Waco, any movies in Waco, uh, that I could maybe do a filming location. I saw there were a bunch of movies that were filmed in Waco, but none of them were anything I'd ever seen before. So I kind of expanded the search to all of Texas. And I found a movie that was shot in the area of Dallas, in and around Dallas. And I thought, you know what, that'd be kind of fun. I looked at, did a little research. Turns out the, that the uh, location still pretty much uh, exists and still pretty much looked the way they uh, looked, you know, when the movie was shot in the 70s. Uh, the movie I'm talking about is called Logan's Run. And like I said, it was shot in, the, in about the mid 70s. I remember going to see it with my father when I was a kid. And uh, it's always been a movie that I thought was pretty good. I actually watched it again a couple nights ago and found it maybe a little bit on the cheesy side. The effects look a little, uh, a little dated, but it's still kind of an interesting movie. Basically, the story of Logan's Run is the movie is set in the 23rd century. It's in the future and apparently humans have destroyed the environment and so all of humanity has moved into a domed city and uh, and it, it's basically it's a paradise in there with one condition and that is that uh, in order to conserve resources everyone who hits the age of 30 is executed by the state. Now they've set up a uh, they set up a, uh, a tradition where if you go through, if, they execute, if you do the execution through an official channel called Carousel, you have a chance that your body will be renewed into a new person. And uh, so most people actually go through the, uh, the Carousel procedure and, you know, under the premise that they're going to be renewed. But there's a number of people that have their doubts and to think that, the, that society is just executing them because they're 30. And so they attempt to flee the city. Those people are called runners. And uh, there's a police force called Sandmen. And Sandmen uh, go and hunt down these runners and execute them. Well, Logan, the, the uh, lead character in the movie, is a Sandman. And after executing a... Uh, uh, a runner, he uh, collects all the artifacts off of the runner and brings it back and does his report at Sandman headquarters and the computer recognizes one of the artifacts that that he uh, retrieved from the uh, from the runner and uh, has associated it with something called Sanctuary. The premise of the movie is no runner ever escapes, that they're always captured and executed by the uh, by the Sandman, but the computer actually admits to Logan that more than a thousand runners have actually escaped the city in their attempt to find sanctuary. So the computer assigns uh, Logan the task of becoming a runner and uh, getting out of the city and attempting to find sanctuary to destroy it. Well, he does manage to escape the city with the help of another runner named Jessica. And when they get outside of the town, outside of the Dome City, they find they're in Washington, D.C. Now, they don't know what Washington, D.C. is, but they're in Washington, D.C., and they wind up finding, out, finding uh, their way into the Capitol building. And there's an old man that lives in the Capitol building. He spent his whole life there, and, uh, and you know, he just lives there with his cats. And uh, Jessica and Logan kind of find, uh, you know, become friends with the man and ultimately decide that there is no sanctuary and that they want to bring the old man back to the city so that people can see that you can actually live beyond the age of 30. And so they bring him back to the city and basically uh, Logan and Jessica are immediately captured and uh, Logan is interrogated and uh, they determine ultimately that uh, that you know he admits that there is no sanctuary. And they found the old man and all that. And eventually, uh, Logan gets a hold of a weapon and starts firing at, at at the computer and destroys the computer and starts destroying the society. And at the end of the movie, 
uh, while the city is blowing up, uh, all of the people of the town escape the dome and come out and meet the old man. And basically, that's the end of the story. Is all of the citizens of the town of the city uh, are, you know, getting their first interaction with an old man, and that's like I said how the movie ends. Now, when I did research, I was really surprised to find out that there were several key scenes that were shot here in Dallas and those locations actually still exist and look pretty much the same as they did uh, 45 years ago when this movie was shot. So we're going to go find those places and that's going to be the story today. So let's go. You may remember when we did that. All right, I'm at the first location now. Actually, this uh, this complex is a pretty big, massive place, and there's several buildings in the area. The first one I went into, I found out it's a wholesaler's market, and it's not open to the public, so I couldn't go into it. But uh, I was talking to the guy behind the desk, and he says uh, he wasn't, he'd never heard of the movie Logan's Run, but I told, but I told him about it, showed him some screen captures, and he thought it might be in here, and. Uh, this is a big, giant building, very well could be where it is. So definitely looks like something out of a dystopian uh, uh, sci-fi movie, right? So let's go in there and take a look around. All right, I made it inside a little bit and kind of wandered around the big atrium in there. I'm pretty sure that is where a lot of the uh, footage was shot. However, um, I kind of got escorted out of there because apparently that's another not open to the public place. Even though the first place said I could go in there and wander around, uh, apparently you got to have an exhibitor badge to go in there and, uh, you know, they weren't able to help a whole lot. Now, they recommended I call somebody and see if they could make some sort of arrangements. And that person, uh, I talked to them and they said, well, let me uh, forward you to security. And I called security and they said, let me for forward you to media relations. Uh, and uh, I called the media relations number and it was just a voicemail I left a message and I don't know we'll see if we can get some uh, get some access into that place uh, like I said it's a big giant interior space in there uh, looks like uh, kind of the place it would be but it looks like they've remodeled the place an awful lot since I was since the movie was shot so it might be hard to line up stuff but I am pretty sure uh, considering some of the railing I saw uh, along some of the the edges there that uh, that may very well be and uh, There was a couple scenes that it was clear that it was a very very tall building Because there's one point where Logan shoots a runner and he falls looks like six floors to the ground uh, And that definitely could have been shot inside there But we're gonna kind of hold on a little re bit right now and we'll see what happens and maybe I can talk my way in maybe not but uh, we'll see what happens. Like I said, there's two other places I want to go today, and those are both outdoor locations, so there shouldn't be any issues there. We ought to be able to get those lined up, but I really hope we can get in here. Now, the guy I talked to at the registration desk was able to confirm that uh, the movie Logan's Run was shot in that building. So, uh, like I said, the building's been changed a whole lot. It might be really hard to uh, line up anything, but I am pretty sure that's the right place. I'm just kind of wandering around the area seeing what else is here. Check out this building. Holy cow. This looks like this could have been maybe something, a place where something was shot too. I'm going to try and figure out what it is and if I can even get inside. Alright, this is the second location from Logan's Run. This is Sandman Headquarters. Uh, basically the, the building is a big tall building, but they only really kind of shot it from like this angle. So they didn't really show, shoot what was up high, but uh, this is a, in this scene here, Logan and Francis are going into the main building there, and that's where Logan gets interrogated about uh, the artifacts that he took off of the, uh, the dead runner. Uh, now, there are kind of a couple of interesting stories here uh, that I read when I was researching this. First off, if you actually watch the movie, uh, during the scene, uh, there's a long shot like this, and then there used to be stairs there going up into the main entrance. Uh, it's obviously they've redesigned it a little bit, put ramps in there and stuff like that, but this is clearly the same place. And if you watch the movie, there's a scene where there's a bunch of extras walking around when the shot is basically like this, and you can see a couple of the extras had their hair blowing in the wind. 
which uh, kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense that there'd be a whole lot of wind going on in a dome city. But that was uh, one of the things they, they uh, pointed out. There was another issue, and you can see a little bit of it here too, and that is when they shot the building, uh, they could actually see reflections of clouds in the, in the uh, windows which causes another problem because if you're in a dome building or in a dome city there isn't going to be any clouds either so apparently somebody had to go in on the film and basically color out every single one of these windows in here now i'm going to get a little bit closer and see if we can uh find out see you know what's uh, left of this uh of the stairs if there i also want to see if i can get behind the building and see if there's another angle to that so there was a scene where uh, Logan and Francis are standing in this location. This is where the stairs used to be right here. Obviously, like I said, they've re, uh, redone that. It looks like they're doing some construction here. So there's like some, uh, you know, tape here that I can't get past. And so I'm not gonna, gonna violate any of that. But this is definitely uh, where the entrance was uh, to the Sandman where, uh, headquarters. As you can see, you can see these pillars here in the, in the scene. A lot of trees in the area right now too. Those trees uh, were a lot smaller and there were a lot fewer of them at the time, but this is definitely Sandman headquarters. Okay, now I'm in back of the building and this is what the scene is from this side. And I actually think now this is probably the angle they shot because you can see the stairs here. In fact, if you look at the, the video, you can see that they have kind of these little slope things right down the middle here. And uh, it looks like they built this overpass in, in the time since then, or maybe just recently too. But uh, I think this now is the angle that they probably shot because, uh, because the stairs are still here. And uh, actually when you look at it, you can see reflections of the sun on like these on these posts in the uh, in the movie and that wouldn't have existed uh, on the other side of the building because uh, the sun isn't on that side of the building. You see the sun is on this side of the building. So I think this is actually the side that was uh, where the scene was shot uh, from here and then they probably were back up and uh, I can't go back any further because there's a building right behind me but uh, it would appear that this would have been the long shot and then the close-up on the stairs would have been would have taken place right here so there you go you know sometimes you've got to wander around these places in order to figure out where everything is sandman headquarters all right we are in downtown fort worth um, a couple blocks away from our final destination uh, if you if you remember my description of the movie from the beginning uh, after meeting the old man at the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., Jessica and Logan bring him back to the city and attempt to work their way back into the city. And the only way they can figure out how to get back into it is to go through a water reclamation plant. And the water reclamation plant where they entered the city is right up here across the street. So this is the entrance to it here. This is the Fort Worth Water Gardens. And apparently there's several water features in here. So we're gonna go look at all of them. But like I said, there's one specific, very unique one that, that I'm looking for. And I know basically, I think it's right behind this fountain here. Kind of a nice little oasis right in the middle of the city, right? Like I said, we're gonna look at all the water features, but there's one specifically that I'm looking for. and it'll, It'll stand out when you see it because uh, there's little steps and a walkway going down into it. So well, let's start off with this one here. This one's called the aerated water pool. I guess I can understand why they do that. Looks like the sprinklers at my house. Oh, check out the rainbow right in the middle of this one. That's cool.
This one's kind of cool too. They got the water running all the way around the outside of this. It kind of uh, flows down the wall and into the pool over there. Just kind of a quiet place to sit there and contemplate the world. Quiet water pool. No swimming. You see the water just kind of runs down the wall in here. It appear that this is where it gets pumped in here into the into the pool here. Yeah, see, there's a drain right there, and I'm guessing uh, goes into there, gets pumped out into here. It's sucking a lot of air in, so you can see there's air coming out here. So that's probably where the water is pumped in. Very pretty place in here, though, isn't it? Really serene. Alright, this is the one we're looking for. This is called the active pool. And this is the one where Logan and Jessica and the old man walked down this uh, set of steps here and dove into the water right in the middle there in order to uh, re-enter the city. Now if you actually watch it, uh, this is uh, basically one of, the, one of the angles that the shot was taken from. And all those buildings out there all around here were uh, replaced with uh, blue screen images of the ocean because the premise was that the water coming in here was coming off the ocean and coming down here and it was part of the method that they were using to power the city now looking at all the gunk that's in that uh in that pool now i definitely would not want to go into there at this point but um, at some point if i can get all these people out of here i'm going to take a walk down there and uh, we'll see where what's like what it's like down there All right, let's take a walk down here So this is the view from down here. It's a lot noisier down here than I thought it would be. And basically, uh, Peter Ustinov was left on this step here, and uh, Jessica and Logan dove into the water right here to re-enter the city. Like I said, I wouldn't want to want to go in there now. That water looks pretty gross.
it's amazing seeing this up close and personal because uh, like I said I always thought this was one of the most striking scenes in the movie and it's even more impressive when you're in here Definitely want to watch where you're stepping here because uh, between each of the blocks is rushing water. Now apparently in 2005, uh, a kid fell in here and uh, an adult and two other kids tried to jump in and rescue him and all four of them drowned in here. They immediately shut down the park and uh, did some modifications. I don't know what those modifications were, probably for the... Uh, place where the water gets pulled in because I'm sure there's a uh, there's got to be something down there that's pumping the water out of the bottom and pumping it back up to the top again This is a little tribute that's put here to the victims. I guess it was 2004, not 2005. The victims' names and their ages. Myron Dukes, 39. Christopher Dukes, 13. Monatrice Deadman, uh, 11. And Lauren Dukes, 8. This is a little sign here uh, about the active pool, which is what we were just in. The sign says, the active the active pool expresses exuberance, exemplifying architect Philip Johnson's sense of play. In, a, in an interview about the park, Johnson described how he designed the active pool to appear like a canyon, a canyon lined with rush, rushing water. He arranges the descending viewing platform so the water travels beneath the viewers, the visitors, as they walk to the bottom. Unfortunately, on June 16, 2004, four visitors, three children and one adult, died when one of the children fell into the central pool and the other three rushed in to rescue the child. The pool was immediately closed and a new design was constructed in 2005-2006 to make it safer. Scenes from the 1976 movie Logan's Run starring Michael York were filmed at the Great Worth Water Gardens. One final shot of the grounds here before we go back home. So I think that's all that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish we could have gotten into the uh, the Great Hall, uh, but you know, sometimes it isn't to be. Uh, but that is all I have for today. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night. <laughs>